I guess the first question is, how are you doing? I'm doing really well. Thanks for asking. Um, it's been nearly a year since Jason Kander made the surprising announcement that he was stepping off the political stage. Missouri's former Secretary of State was a rising star in the Democratic Party. He nearly upset Roy Blunt in the 2016 Senate race, which would have turned a red state blue. And the time has come for the next generation to step up. And then he began thinking White House. Obviously, I was, I was getting ready to run for president. Very good. I'm Jason Kander. But no matter what office he was running for, he couldn't outrun depression. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't have a good night's sleep for over a decade. Um, I had violent nightmares um, to the point where I would stay up and find other things to do simply because I didn't want to go to sleep. The nightmare started after returning from Afghanistan, where he was an Army intelligence officer. He was in dozens of situations where he could have been kidnapped or killed, but because he was never in combat, he never viewed his depression as PTSD. How are you doing, Jason Kander? Good to meet you. How are you doing, Jason? Then last fall, just as he was poised to become Kansas City's next mayor, he suddenly dropped out of the race and decided to get help. Things were just getting worse and worse because I had not dealt with them for so long. And, uh, and then um, my suicidal thoughts had gotten frequent enough, scary enough, that my wife and I decided I, I needed to call the uh, the veterans crisis line. Now that he's feeling better, people are asking, when is he coming back? I am back, and this is public service, and, and it's and I'm really excited about it. Kander works full time for the Veterans Community Project, which helps veterans with issues like jobs and mental health in the Kansas City area. We're meant to complement the other systems out there, what the VA does, a lot of the other traditional places around here. The nonprofit is also known for building a community of tiny houses for homeless vets. Kander says these tiny home communities are helping to end the homelessness here in Kansas City. And now it's his job to take the program to St. Louis and across the nation. Our expansion criteria in this first round is the cities who are the most enthusiastic and make it as easy as possible for us to come in and do our work. His passion for the project was really evident really early on. So we just kind of made the pitch of, you know, let's, let's do this together. And that passion has invited support from both political rivals like Roy Blunt and political allies like Pete Buttigieg. But Kander's own political ambitions remain on hold. I drop my son off at school and pick him up almost every day, um, tuck him in almost every night, um, get quality time with my wife uh, every night. Jason Kander now helping veterans and helping everyone to see that those suffering with PTSD don't have to suffer in silence. I'm really, really pleased with where my life is right now.